42. Okay, Love Games, level 42. I've been asked by a few people now to do a tutorial on this. Um, I've noticed on YouTube there are lots of people playing this and uh, doing tutorials. To be honest, then they haven't quite got it right. Um, so there's just a few little things missing and it's really all about, I go on about this all the time, this left hand hit. Since Mark King was a drummer, he's really used this drumming style. And you really have to practice getting this sound. And how when I teach people about this, it's like if I was to slap my hand, okay, I'm going to slap it and stop. I don't follow through. I don't push on. If I, if I hit like that and push on onto the strings, then I make a sound with the note. So as soon as I've hit it, I've got to stop. But I don't then come off. Now it's the same when you slap a note. It's exactly the same thing, except for when you slap the note, you come off it. So as soon as you've touched it, you're off. Now this is the same thing, you're hitting it, but you're stopping. But don't follow through. Okay. So let's look at Love Games. Very, let's try and slow it right down. Let's just start with that bit. That's a really good thing to practice. Uh, I don't know the exact term, we used to call it a four stroke rough. When you're playing an open E, then left hand, then a, uh, a tap, then a pluck. One, two, three, four. So, and in Love Games, that's happening, but it's obviously not that fast. So, okay, now again, when he, when Mark King comes off this plucked D, and this is where people get it wrong, you've got to play the pluck and then come back with your left hand. So again, it's like these triplets you can do. One, two, three. Except for you're doing a pluck, then the left hand, then a tap, and then a hammer on, D to E. slowly okay now once you've got that that fast is There's, you can add, after you've done that, the D, do a double tap. So if I loop that. Yeah, with your
your right hand, you want to be as, as uh, relaxed as possible. You know, if, if at all you can feel anything in your forearm, you're, you're too tense. You need to be completely kind of floppy. And then once you get good at it, you just, you know, change the rhythm so you don't do the same thing all the time. Um, Fast. I, I, again, um, it's in that first video I did when I talk about this move of six. It's it's all the same thing. You, you just uh, so slowly. hard to work out what it is when it's um, slow. So that's the four I'm talking about. One, two, three, four. Okay, once I've hit the G, I'm coming back with the left hand. Yeah, it's that six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so you're doing the six and then, yeah, eight. things you can practice doing it with your thumb as well. So like a triplet with the thumb would be one, two, three, one, two, three. sort of things again when it's um you're doing the four you're doing it's um one two three four and then you're going to go into triplets once so it's one two three four now once i've hit that four i'm going to start playing one two It's just hours and hours of practice of getting the, the left hand, all the taps at the same volume. You know, most people, they, or a lot of people, they they struggle with this, making this sound. And if that's, this left hand isn't coming down and making a, a tap as loud as, say, that with your thumb, it's not going to quite sound right. So just play it really slowly. dampening it
Okay, the verse of Love Games, quickly go through that. Uh, yeah, or the bridge. You're playing B minor, up the scale, to the fifth. And then A major. And again, when Mark King's playing it, the reason why it has that nice groove hand is coming in again. So you could play it straight. Which most people do that, but if you can get so you play a B, then the left hand, then a yeah, then play a B, left hand hit, mute tap, then another B. So you just add them where you want. You don't do them all the time, but um, they just come in and they just um, add some groove to it. And he does that as well sometimes. He, he just plays the, uh, the major third up here. I think this song is basically in, in mode-wise, is uh, in A major. And so the, the E is a mixolydian.
Thank mm-hmm. you.